So you want more views on your YouTube channel and you're really trying to figure out you know, how to get more views. Uh, you may be at a point where you're just not seeing anything and uh, you know, you're making videos, you're doing everything that you need to do, but you, you don't have the views that you want. Well, today we're, today's video, uh, I'm going to go over how to get more views on your videos uh, and what has worked for me. So I have over 3 million views, over 15,000 subscribers within three channels. And that's not, you know, a, a large amount, but I know exactly what it takes to hit momentum and to basically uh, get to where you need to be. And once you do get momentum, it's it's a hundred percent performance based, meaning the work you put in from then on will really dictate the outcome of your YouTube channel. For me, I hit momentum. I got subscribers every single day. You know that that uh, not notification Gmail. You know, new subscriber, new subscriber. Best feeling ever. And momentum feels awesome. It's your best friend. Momentum is your best friend. From there, I kind of died down. You know, I kind of got comfortable with where I was at. Wasn't really improving. Kind of died down on the videos. Lost the momentum. And, and it's really hard to get back. So I'm trying to, you know, get back into it. Every subscriber, every like helps a lot. But how to, you know, how to, how to get your uh, channel big. How to get more views. That's, that's the video. Um, and basically, it, it all starts with the title, description, and tags. So from now on, on all of your videos, make sure that you have a catchy title, something that will catch someone's eye. So when they're scrolling down or your video is on the side and they see the title, they say, wow, that video looks good. And also what's really important is the thumbnail. Make sure that your thumbnail is professional. Create a, a custom thumbnail. Get Photoshop or, or get Get some type of app where you can, you know, create it. There's a lot of free ones out there. Just make sure you get a good one. And you can create, custom, create your thumbnail. And that's also really key. You know, if it looks professional, if it looks like something that someone would want to watch, then they're going to click it. You know, if the thumbnail looks like horrible lighting or, or whatever, people are not going to click it. You know, so make sure that your thumbnail is good. Make sure that your title is really good. And make sure you have a, a nice description. All right, and then from that description, put your channel link, your fan page, anything that you want. You can put it in the, the, the presets of YouTube um, so it goes on to every single video from then on. And make sure you, have, you, know, you interact with your fans. You know, that Facebook fan page or whatever it is, whatever links you want to you want to provide for your fans, make sure you have them in all your videos so people can plug through and really see who you are. So make sure you have a nice description, a nice little introduction of what the video is going to be about. Make it catchy because people also see the, the description when they're scrolling down. So make the description really, really good. And what's most important is the tags. Make sure that you put as much detail into the tags as possible. A lot of people put one or two tags and then they're done. Make sure that you make the tags relevant to your video. If your video is about the iPhone 6, if you're reviewing the iPhone 6, make sure you put as many details into the tags as possible so when anyone searches something, your video is going to uh, be on top. Also, what is really, really important is that you make good content because the more thumbs up you get, the higher your, uh, the, your video is going to be ranked on YouTube. So if it takes like for you to go out and ask people like, yo, can you like my video? Do it if you have to, man. You know, so make sure that you're you're getting, make sure you have a good ratio. You know, if your dislikes or if you have a lot of dislikes on your video, you're not going to be ranked high up um, when someone searches any anything related to uh, your topic on your video. So make sure you like it yourself, you know, get other people to like your video. Make sure that you have a, a good ratio with likes to dislikes, all right? And sometimes it's hard. You know, sometimes you have haters and sometimes... People will intentionally try to dislike, and what you got to do with that is just be friendly with the person and say, hey, man, I'm really sorry for whatever I've done or whatever I've done to hurt you. I would really appreciate it if you you know, you know, didn't do that, if you know who it is, if there's someone, because everyone has that. I had that too. Uh, but other than that, just make sure that you post good quality content. That's super important. Make sure that every single post is better than the last post. Make sure that you're constantly improving so your subscribers stay tuned and so that they're watching every new video that's produced. The quality in this video isn't that good. I'm using a MacBook Pro, a Blue Yeti. It doesn't look too good, but what's really important is that I get the information out to you guys. So I'm really excited for this video. I hope this can help at least one person. Um, you know, today is an amazing day and I hope it is for you too. All right, guys, peace out. Thanks for watching.